Savage fam. Happy Thursday. So, I have a client this morning. I know I'm not dressed like I'm going to work, but um, I'm only going to be there for a little time. So, I wanted to go to the home goods that is closer to her home because her home is like an hour from me and see what I can find. But before I leave, I am going to um, make me a protein shake. And I'm not really looking for anything in particular at Home Goods today, but I am definitely going to see what I see and see if they have anything on clearance. Because who doesn't love a good sale? Because I do. It is like super early. It's like 7.30 in the morning. So I'm just making me a protein shake real quick. I have to be there at 9, so I'm going to try to leave about 7.45 between 7.45 and 7.50 just because, um, and um, yeah. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm vlogging on my phone because I wanna take you all to Home Goods with me just in case you know we see anything good. I just wanna share just in case y'all Home Goods might have something that you know, that you don't know about. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, make my protein shake, and then I will see you guys at Home Goods. Then dip me underway, you can kill my mother, love,
y'all. So I just spent about an hour and a half in Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, in Burlington, and didn't buy nothing. <laughs> I did not find anything that I needed. Um, so I did not buy anything. I'm so proud of myself because I usually buy stuff that I don't need. But anyway, I think I'm gonna get some Chipotle and go ahead and drive back home. Yeah, before this rain comes. All right, see you guys in a bit. Just finished having breakfast and um, it's just one of those days you know um, <laughs> I've been given unsolicited advice and I just want to let y'all know that it's hard it's hard for a lot of people you know it's it's hard out here in this world um, I don't know what any of y'all lifestyles are like. I don't know what y'all go through on a daily basis other than what you all tell me, you know, and I, and when, when you all come to me and say, you know, you lost a family one, a family member, or you had a surgery or you had some type of a, something that goes on. I pray for you guys because I do consider you guys family. I love y'all, you know, and sometimes, you know, <sighs> God speaks to me and tells me that I need to tell someone else, you know, to stop always being negative. I have learned, because that used to be me. That used to be me, and it used to be because of the way I was raised. So I used to always, whoa, 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 it's me. And finally, when I had my brain situation I was I realized that every day that I wake up is a blessing and I need to be thankful for those things so every day I'm like instead of the negatives I try to say things like when I <laughs> when I start my new job or <laughs> my favorite one lately is when I win this lottery boy I'm telling you you ain't gonna better tell me nothing when I that's probably where I ain't won yet then again, I don't really play, but I'm working on it. <laughs> but either way, it's just a mindset thing. Instead of like, you know, well, I'm trying to be positive, but we all know when you say, but everything after everything before, but is gone. 
And everything after that is now the sentence. So you have, you know, just trying to focus on being more positive because those are the things that matter. And especially in healing, if you going through something, your mindset helps you to heal. And I don't know why my lighting keeps changing. I don't know if it's because of outside, but I'm noticing it on the camera. But anyway, I didn't come on here to preach. I just realized that um, I don't want to stay in the house today. And I was like yesterday going through like my statements and realized that my Sam's Club renewed. Baby, I went to Sam's Club probably once last year. And that was like the first of last year. I'm like, I'm paying for stuff that I don't even use. I need to go and see if this is even worth me continue. Because you know I don't like the grocery shop. So I'm about to go to Sam's Club and walk around and see if this is worth me keeping. Because baby, it's only $50, but $50 is a lot. <laughs> I could buy a pair of shoes. I could buy, I don't know. But it ain't, it, it's $50. It's a gas, it's a tank of gas. But anyway, y'all see I got on my shirt that Kia sent me. Hey Kia, <laughs> I'm looking cute girl. <laughs> so I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and then I'm going to go to Sam's Club. All right. Ho guys. Ho please. All right. Quick outfit of the day is my black rim glasses that I got from Zenith. My discount code is in the description box if anyone is still interested in purchasing glasses. Then I have on my North Face hoodie that Kia sent me. Um, I will also link her information from her uh, Posh Mark um, store if anyone is interested. Yeah, I absolutely love it. And then I have on some black joggers and some um, new balances that matches the hoodie. And then I just have a guest backpack. So let's go see what Sam's got. These almost look like caraways. more affordable let me know down in the comments how they hold up if anyone has them I don't know but they do look pretty good and that's a really pretty color we also have them in gray I don't know if they have them in other colors but they probably do but they're really pretty baby I done got in Sam's Club been in there for a whole hour plus cart full of stuff get up there swipe everything go to look at my purse and ain't even got my wallet <laughs> i cannot believe so i changed purses of course because i'm always changing purses to match my damn outfits and then left my damn wallet at the house so i'm like excuse me excuse me y'all got apple pay because baby i got apple pay <laughs> She said, no, we don't have Apple Pay, and walk away. Then offered to hold my cart while I run to the house to get it or nothing. I said, well, <laughs> apparently it wasn't meant for me to spend this money because I'm just in there buying stuff, baby. Just, ooh. <sighs> so do I go home, get my cart, and go back out to some more stores? I think I'm going to just run in Michael's and see what they got. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to go on Michael's. I'm a little bummed because they had some cute joggers in Sam's Club. But you know what? It's spilled milk at this point. Whatever. So I just got home from Michael's. I bought some stuff because guess what? They accept Apple Pay. I got to go upstairs and find my wallet. I know it's here because I used it yesterday. Um, yeah. So anyway, when I was at Michael's, they had all of their Christmas stuff, 70% off. So after day after Christmas, Ariel and I, was it? Ariel? No, it might have been me and Amani. Amani and I, yeah. Amani and I were at um, Hobby Lobby and they had their Christmas stuff like on sale. So I'm going to be incorporating um, <laughs> this into my main Christmas tree next year i think it's called buffalo plaid it is buffalo plaid so you know this year was like 
um, I think it was white, gray, and um, I think like tad, like little pieces of blue. But next year is going to be white, gray, and buffalo plaid. So I bought a bunch of things on clearance from Hobby Lobby on their on their clearance, but I did not buy ribbon. So I bought this and it was originally $25. I think I only paid $7.50. Um, I also threw away my wreath that was on the door because it did not match anything and I did not replace it last year. Well, this Christmas just this past. So I ended up getting this wreath because it's very neutral and it'll match anything that I put out there. Oh, it goes this way. It'll go with anything that I put out there next year. And most likely I'll still stick with the same colors. Um, who knows though. But either way, this was 50 bucks. I only paid 15 for it. And I like it. It's very, like I said, very neutral. And if I wanted to stick some like little different color things in there, I could to kind of make it whatever. But I like it. Nice and plain. But it's cute. They also had... Their frames, buy one, get one free. So I bought these, two of these, and I had got 24 by 36. I'm hoping these are big enough for that wall. And I got the white ones versus the black ones because I need it to pop. Um, this room does not get a bunch of light. So I didn't want to do black because I felt like it would be too dark. So let me hold them up there and see I'll let you guys see too. So let me hold them up there and see what it looks like. Okay, can y'all see? Yeah, okay. So these are the frames. Let me move y'all closer. This is what I was thinking. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Okay. Follow me here. Okay, so I don't know if y'all remember when I did the um, shower curtain art. I want to try it again, but with a frame. And if I don't like it, then I'm going to go to Etsy and print something. But I'm going to try that first and see if I like it. So I ordered a shower curtain. You know what? Hold please. Let me go get it. Okay, so I ordered this shower curtain from Amazon. I don't know if I'm going to like it, like I said. But I'm going to try it. We gonna see, but first I gotta steam the the, 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 the wrinkles out of it because that's ghetto. And um, and I need to eat some lunch, so let me do those two things, and then we'll cut it down to. Oh, 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 oh. We'll cut it down to size, put it in the art in the frames, and see what it looks like. And if we don't like it, we might have to marinate on it because you know that's what I do. I like. It. Put it in there, let it sit for a little bit, and decide if I like it. So anyway, that's what we'll do. We'll eat some lunch. We'll steam these, steam this curtain, and then we're going to put it together and see if we like it. Also, um, I keep forgetting, if any of y'all were in the impacted areas um, that got hit by any tornadoes, please check in down below and let me know y'all all right. Please. 
Um, I know that one hit here in, I think, East Atlanta. It did quite a bit of damage. And I think Alabama got hit really, really hard. Please let me know y'all guys are okay. All right, well, use the bathroom, eat some lunch, steam curtain, come back. In that order. All right, y'all, so I steamed out pretty much all of the crease lines. And what I did was I just moved the shower curtain over <laughs> and then hung this one up here so that way I could steam it pretty well versus whatever. Anyway, so while I still have it hanging up here, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half. So that way it just kind of makes it a little bit easier for me to kind of separate it for the two photo frames. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is pretty Okay, so that is the metal. Okay. Yeah, that's the metal. All right, so they're split. I'm gonna take these down and then we'll meet in the office. All right, so I ain't never did this before. I tried using shower curtains before to do, um, do it on a canvas. So this time I'm trying to do it in a frame. <laughs> so we gonna see how this turns out. And like I said, if I don't like it, then I will order something else. But for today, we going to see. Because I'm all about saving money. And I just wasn't seeing anything that I really liked. Plus, when I did, I was like, I ain't paying $300 for that. All about saving money. I don't care how much money I get. So, let's see what this turned out like. So... And I don't know if I mentioned it, but these were $40 each, but it was buy one, get one free. So they were $20 each and they were they're 24 by 36 and they come in white or black frames at Michael's. So let's see.
this is the top. And what I think I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to, like, tape it on the, like, tape it around to the back. And then cut the excess off. And then put it in the frame. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me figure out what is the best location. Let me bring y'all closer. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out the location or the piece that I figured it was, will look the best on the wall. And then... Um, yeah, and then tape that down around the back and then cut off the excess and then frame it. I'll see. Can y'all see it? I know y'all gonna let me know what y'all think in the comments. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one. You cannot even tell that this is a shower curtain. <laughs> I'm just go ahead and do the second one. I'll be back. Hold please. Also, what I ended up doing was taping this um, white side to the front of the cardboard before I put the um, shower curtain on there because the brown doesn't allow the white to be as white. If that makes sense. So. I put this on there and I taped it down before I put the shower curtain on there so that the white will be more whiter. Because the brown kind of makes it darker. So, before I put that on there, I'm just going to tape this down. I'll be back okay so both pieces are made down there um so i'm gonna it's like four o'clock um so i'm gonna try to get them hung before it's time for me to pick up kai um yeah so i gotta get the tape measure and all that stuff and then i'll let you guys see what it looks like uh when i'm done All right, y'all. <laughs> My artwork is hung. Um, I don't hate it. 
I don't know if I love it. I don't hate it. I think I just need to marinate on it. So I'm going to let you guys see it. So, hope peace. That's what it looks like in the space. I can't seem to get Ignore that Christmas stuff. I'm still working on putting that in the garage. I mean, the colors match perfectly, um, but I'm going to marinate on it, and I'm sure y'all will let me know what y'all think. I'm going to wait until Dante gets here. The pictures look so much smaller on this camera, but they're actually really big. I'm sure this vlog is long as crap, and I'm going to have to do quite a bit of editing to get it down to be um a reasonable size so i'm gonna go ahead and close it out and start another one so i'll see you guys in the next one bye